Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a really fun little treat box to show you today. It features the Witty Sism stamp set from the 2020 Stampin' Up! Spring Catalog as well as some of the new Ornate Garden Designer Series paper that during the month of April you can pre-order. Um, it'll be available in the new annual catalog in June. So I love these stamps. They're all um, little witty sentiments. Um, this one says thank you very much of course with a little strawberry so what did I find to put in here but a Twinkie but not just any Twinkie have you seen these strawberry Twinkies yeah these I found at Walmart so if you can't find the strawberry Twinkie I think they're pretty much the same size as any Twinkie so this box will fit any Twinkie that you buy all right let's go ahead and start by making the box you're going to need a piece of so saffron cardstock now by the way if you hop over to my blog you'll find there's a PDF under the last photo right here it has actually three projects using the stamp set and the very first one is the one we're using here and here are all the measurements that you'll need all right, so so saffron cardstock six and a half by seven and a fourth. And on the short side, we're going to score it at one and a fourth, three, four and a fourth, and six. And then you're going to turn it and score it at one and a fourth and six on the long side. All right, grab your bone folder and you want to just give all of these little score lines um, a run with the bone folder it will help them um, get nice and crisp all right so we're going to do that now take your scissors and we're just going to cut all of these score lines here along the side and when we get to this one right here we're actually going to cut that one off okay so the little skinny tab just comes right off. All right, now score, I mean trim, trim, trim. All right, now grab your triple corner punch and you're gonna, you're gonna round the corners of this tab, the skinny tab right here. All right, now there are several things that you can do with these tabs right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just cut them in half. That helps them go in the box a little bit better. And if you wanna round them, you can, but I think I'm just gonna leave them that way. Now, we're gonna put this box together like this. These two little guys are gonna fold like that. And these are gonna go like that. So we wanna put tear and tape on these short on the inside of the smaller side tabs okay if that makes sense this the four corners the four squares then grab your take your pick tool that helps that adhesive come off a little bit easier if your nails are like mine all right stick that down peel all these off and we'll be ready to fold it up. Now I haven't tried the strawberry Twinkie, but I would venture to guess that it's pretty tasty and really fun for spring. Hopefully you can find them in your area. All right, now fold in that center tab and we're gonna fold these over like that, okay? Fold in and in. Now, there's your box and it just closes right like that. Pretty cool, right? Now it's the perfect size for our strawberry Twinkie. So let's get that in there and we'll close it up. And we're gonna add some of that designer series paper, that cute little whimsical ornate garden designer series paper. Now I have already cut the pieces and I have all of the measurements listed there on my um, PDF there on my blog. You're going to have one for the top. Okay, so we'll put that there. And two for the sides. 
my little box just doesn't want to stay. There we go. One right there. One for the back. And two for the sides, of course. The new Botanical Prints Designer Series paper is fun and whimsical. It takes me back to my childhood with this color palette. I think that my, my childhood bedroom had a wallpaper that looked just like this. So cute. There you go. Isn't that adorable? All right, now let's make our little tag for the top. We're gonna stamp this um, stamp several times, okay? I didn't want to leave it like it is, like this. I cut it up and placed it on a crumb cake stitched scallop rectangle. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take my old, um, I'm sorry, my early espresso stamp and write marker. And I'm just gonna color the sentiment. Now you could mask off the strawberry and stamp it with the ink pad, but see how this Y right here goes super close to the strawberry. It's really hard to mask off that strawberry that close. But if you don't have a, the stamp and write marker in the right color, that is an option. All right, now a little huff on it, and there we go. Now, we're gonna clean it on our chamois, and now we're gonna stamp it in Rococo Rose on, you know, I better close that, huh? On Rococo Rose cardstock. Then, let's clean it again. And this time we're going to stamp it in Old Olive ink on Old Olive cardstock. Now we're going to do some paper piecing. This is called paper piecing, okay? On the Old Olive piece, we are only going to cut out the little the little stem and leaves to the strawberry. All right, so when you are fussy cutting, I recommend getting a very small pair of scissors, the smallest the, and the sharpest. Um, being small, it helps you get into the little nooks and crannies of your image a little bit easier than a big, large pair of scissors. And use your fingers to turn the paper, not your scissors, okay? So I'm gonna just cut all that extra off, that'll help. And this time I'm just gonna cut straight across because we don't need that necessarily on there because we're going to adhere that stem that we just cut out right on top of there. All right, so then grab your glue. I wanted to use my Tombow, but I don't see it. So let's see if I can get my fine tip glue to work, there we go. All right, now take this and stick it on there. And let's see if I can pick it up so that you can see how cute that is. So very cute. All right, now grab a dimensional. I think I'll use a mini dimensional because that's all I have right here. And <laughs> we'll use two of them. And grab, I don't want that, that stem to come off. Grab that and put that right there. Now, take your, your sentiment and you're just gonna trim it. If you are fancy and you have a steady hand, you can actually cut around the words um, I'm sure you've seen the, a lot of that online right now where people are cutting all around the words to match the scripty fonts, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, if I can find it, where did it go in these scraps? There it is. This one right here would be a fun one to do that way, but for the sake of the video and because I'm not really that very, that good at doing that, I'm just going to cut it out like that. All right, let's get dimensionals on the back of these. Thank you. Whoops. 
I guess we need two. I don't know where my regular dimensionals ran off to. Thank you. Very much. How sweet is that? Now my strawberry probably could stand to move over a little bit. There we go. All right, now we're gonna add a bow. We have a Coco Rose ribbon and it's thick. See that? You could tie a bow with this, but what I like to do, hopefully you can see what I've done here. I like to take my scissors and cut down on the scallop. So I just have a very skinny little piece of Rococo Rose scallop ribbon and then use that as the bow. You could then also use this um, crumb cake or linen piece on the inside on another project. I like when the fibers come out. When you do this, I like the way that looks. All right, let's see if I've cut it long enough before I cut it off. So I'm just going to tie a little bow right there. I did perfect. And we're gonna get our glue dot right there. Grab that and put that right there. And then that's all you gotta do. You're gonna add this on with some dimensionals. Use your regular dimensionals, not your minis. But if you're in a pinch, you can use your minis. They work just as well. And I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. Thank you very much. What do you guys think? How cute, right? So fun and a cute little treat to give out this spring. All right, now hop over to my blog, click on the link here on the video. It'll take you to my blog post where you'll find that PDF that has all the measurements and two more Witty Sism projects. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Bye-bye.